Alright, so After Effects, the place I spend pretty much all my life and I don't have a social life. But anyways, so what we have here is we have our base plate here and this base plate is just everything with the background. There's no plant here, there's no phone or chair because I'm going to have those come in later. So what I have here is I just have the plants in, I brought them in during the shot and I just trimmed it up so that I don't see me in the shot. Then the next shot I have the chair in the scene and then also have the phone and then eventually it's me. So the way I've broken this down is obviously I have my background over here and at the most basic way you can do this effect without any glitches if you want you can just layer these on top of each other like this and they can just appear as the video plays and that's the most basic way you can get this going but it's pretty effective as you can tell so obviously one thing you notice there is I took away or I adjusted the focus because everything was out of focus a little bit and uh, the previous shot there the chair was a little out of focus it wasn't a huge deal but then I saw that it was a little out of focus so I refocused and you can see some things change so just be aware that you have to have everything set before you do everything otherwise it's going to look a little strange and there's going to be jumps and things like that but I'll show you how to kind of work around that as well in case you do make that mistake so I'm just going to lay these up a little bit here I'm just going to have me over here I'm going to make the phone appear pretty soon after the chair does if I just go down here there's the plants there's the chair there's the phone and then there's me let's just make that a bit sooner okay I'm gonna drag those a bit closer to the plant okay and then I'm gonna just drag me in as well and I just look all confused which is my look probably like 90% of the time anyways but the first thing we're gonna do here is we're actually going to adjust the opacity of the plants the first layer here so Let's just zoom in real quick. So I'm just going to grab the mask. I'm going to zoom in and this doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to create a rough outline here around the plant. And uh, once you've done cutting that out, I might add a, add a feather to it. So let's just feather it by three and I'm just going to fit it back. All right. So looks kind of nice. You can see there's a slight edge there. So I'm actually going to feather it a little bit more. Let's take it to six. That's a bit better, I think. So let's just see. All right, looks good. It actually kind of moves a bit as well. It wasn't finished moving before I, I cut the shot here and it kind of sells the effect a little bit more as well. So it kind of adds this bounce to it, which is nice. So the way I'm going to bring it in is I'm going to bring up the opacity by pressing T. I'm going to move down one frame, just click the opacity and then move down one more again. I'm going to take it to zero, move down, let's say one frame, move it back to 100, move down two frames, maybe take it down to 20 move down one frame take it to a hundred let's see how that looks okay nice maybe we'll do one more flicker so let's take it down to zero again go down one frame and take it back up to a hundred okay that looks kind of decent now if that's all you want to do you can keep it like that it'll look kind of cool but uh, we're going to add a little bit more stylization to it so the first effect we're going to look for is wave warp and when I drag wave warp onto the layer, you can see it kind of warps it a little bit. And uh, I'm just going to choose square for now because it kind of adds these lines to it. And uh, let's kind of mess around with these and let's say maybe negative 20 or so. Let's decrease the width here. Let's maybe take it to five. Okay, that looks decent. And you can change the direction it does it at. So let's do it at an angle. Let's change the wave speed to 1.5. And we'll turn the anti-aliasing to high. So you can see right off the bat, if that's how you want to keep it, you can do that. Looks kind of cool, but obviously it stays there. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Maybe we'll actually change the wave speed to three. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so next effect we can do if you want to keep going is do noise. Just add noise underneath. And let's just put it at 45 maybe. Or we can even do a little more just to kind of add a bit of green and stuff to it and uh, at its bare bones that's a pretty decent effect but obviously it keeps going so we're gonna have to cut it off let's go to the last keyframe here Control shift d to separate it and then on this layer i'm going to just hide these effects so it's back to normal so let's take a look at it again so it looks pretty good and then we're going to obviously do the same for these and actually i'm going to just take this and overlap it a little bit press u and let's just reset the opacity let's take it to zero and we'll just kind of fade it in so we'll take it to 100 and in fact we'll do it one more frame maybe 
All right, so then we have this. Okay, pretty good. Not bad at all. Very nice basic effect. And uh, the chair is going to be pretty much the same process. The phone and me. I will do me. I'll just show you the example here. But the phone and the chair is exactly the same as the plant. But let's go ahead and do me. I'm going to just grab the pen tool. I'm going to mask around me. Just a rough mask. I don't have to make it too perfect because uh, it's not going to matter. There's going to be a glitch and it's going to be really quick. So people won't really notice. Okay, and so with that masked out, let's just see if... Let's go a few frames down and just make sure the mask doesn't cut me off. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty decent. All right, so the mask is good. I don't have to worry about it. Let's just feather it just, uh, just to be safe. I'll just do six. And uh, you can obviously see there's no shadow there, but don't worry, I'll show you how to deal with all of that. So I'm actually just going to copy the opacity properties from the previous one. Let's just go up here and just paste that there. And once that's appeared there, you can see it does its flash thing. So kind of cool. It's actually pretty decent just the way it is. You don't necessarily have to add these stylized stuff to it, but we'll go ahead and do that anyways. So just like the previous one, I'm just going to copy those. I'm going to paste it here. You can see it does the glitch there. And obviously it carries on, which we don't want. So I'm just going to go to the last keyframe here, control shift D, and I'm just going to turn those effects off. Grab the opacity. I'm actually going to drag this over a little bit. And let's just reset this opacity. And we'll drag this over. Drag that over. And then we'll just set this to zero. I'm going to drag that to the beginning there. So, cool. Nice effect. And then obviously we want the shadow to come in as well. So on this layer, I'm actually going to delete the mask. Because I don't need the mask on that. So watch this. So during that whole process, that mask kind of shows through and it's a little subtle. It's obviously, it might be a little notice noticeable because of the, the issues that I had. So that's one thing you need to pay attention to is the focus here and the lighting and such. Be sure that it doesn't change. So let's just take a look here from the beginning and see how it looks. So pretty good. Uh, you can actually, on the mask here, you can probably just do this and just keep the mask there. I'm going to feather that a bunch. And uh, you can avoid it from affecting this side of the whole composition. So I can drag this out this way. And I can just have that. I can actually need to feather that a bit more. Let's drag this over a bit. So yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's go back and check that out. Let's just hide these two just because they haven't had the effect applied to it at all. Okay, cool. So obviously the phone kind of shows up and stuff, but that's totally fine. That's just when I do that effect with the phone over here. So I will here. So it's not a huge deal. So a very simple effect, but it can be very powerful. And there's really a limitless range that you can do with it. It's up to your creativity and imagination. There's a ton of glitch effects out there on YouTube. So if you research those, there's different types of glitch effects that you can get. So you can even apply those to this. You don't necessarily have to use the same technique I did. One other thing is if you want to add like kind of an RGB or a, or a color, what do you call it? Um, a color spill or something, you know, that's the best way I can come up with the word, but you can add like a shifts channel. So if I just duplicate this for a second, let's just call this red. I'm going to duplicate it twice. I'm going to call the next one green. And I'll call the next one blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into the effects and presets. I'm going to search shift channels. Just going to drag that onto the red. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn all of them full off except for the red. I'm going to keep that one on. And I'm just going to copy it, control C, paste it on the green. I'm going to turn the red full off and I'm going to turn the green on. Let's go to green then I'm going to paste it on the blue one and we're just going to do off and we're going to do the blue here. All right, so I've got the red, blue and green channels separated. Now what I can do is I can just move it over a little bit. Move that one over a bit 
and go to the top one, move that over a bit. Grab the top two. I'll go and make them screen. So it'll kind of see through. And you can see now there's this color distortion. So if I just turn it off for a second, you can see no color distortion and then color distortion. So that's nice. I'm just going to turn these audios off and take a look at this. So kind of cool. It's got some like RGB stuff to it. Kind of adds a nice little glitch. Very nice. So one nice little quick trick at the end there. So there you go, a great trick you can use for your videos. If you guys enjoyed and you're new, consider subscribing, stick around for the future. I do a lot of visual effects, editing, uh, all the Adobe products, uh, streaming, uh, disc setups, things like that. So stick around if you're interested. Leave a like, it would really help the channel out. But until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.